did any harm and out there is my busy garden. today because it's a very typical April day. Sunshine, heavy showers, sunshine, heavy showers and I didn't want to get caught outside. Plus there are a few things I need to do in the greenhouse anyway. So let's start. You know after all that lovely lovely sunshine we had for two whole weeks, guess what happened last week? Unbelievable! That is snow Fortunately, the ground was too warm to allow the snow to settle, but it was still pretty cold out there. We had quite a nasty little frost at the end of the last week, and unfortunately, there were a few casualties. One of my tomato plants seems to have survived. One of them has definitely gone, and the other one, well, the jury's still out. So I've rushed out and bought a few more tomato plants, these aren't the same moneymaker variety that I had before. They're one called San Marzano and they're a plum tomato. I'll replace the dead tomato plant with one of my new plants, but I'll keep the others in reserve because I can always whip them inside if it looks like there's danger of frost. Come on then, out you come. Poor thing. Not much of a life, was it really? This is your new home. Enjoy. The sweet peas, on the other hand, that I was so worried about, seem to have been unaffected by the frost. So I'm going to plant up the remaining sweet peas. You remember the cactus cuttings that I potted up a couple of months ago? Well, it looks like they've rooted and there's this little new leaf forming here and the same on the other one. The apple seed I planted is doing quite well too. There's no sign of anything in the chilies yet and the runner beans haven't started pushing through at all but this is where I'm going to plant some broccoli. They need to be planted about a quarter of an inch deep. I'm going to make three rows Sprinkling the seeds. If all this lot takes, I'm going to have more broccoli than I know what to do with. But hey ho, cover them over and give them a good water. Broccoli, here we come. Now my leeks are doing really quite well. Some of them are over two inches tall. So I think it's time I transplanted some of them into bigger pots. So I've got a pot of compost. This compost was out of the grow bag that I partly use for the tomatoes. I've got a pencil and I've got a toothpick. I'll start by using the toothpick to try and tease up some of the leeks very carefully. Carefully lift it out. Very good, that's one. And then his neighbour who's doing quite well. That's number two. Snapped a tiny bit of root off there, but he's still got lots of root. Go for the next one. And number four. Now I'm going to put four of these into a pot. I've moistened the compost and I'll just dip in four decent holes. Gently take one of the leek plants and help him into the hole. Close the soil around him. Take the next one. Carefully poke it down. Push the soil around. That's nice. Now I'll carry on with some of the other leeks. So there's 24 leek plants all nicely potted up. Give them a good water. Mmm, I'm starting to dream of leek and potato soup already. 
Sprinkle on some freshly chopped chives and stir in some cream if you really want to. Right, who wants to see my butt? You do? All right, get ready, here it comes. What do you mean? You didn't really think I was going to. You sick little monkey. Right, the first thing I need to do is drill a hole in my butt. And I'm going to drill it at the back here. screw in the connector. Now I have to cut the drain pipe and this line is level with the connector in the butt and as my father always said, measure twice, cut once. It's no good, I can't resist it. <laughs> Put the butt into position and then connect up the ohms. Pop on the lid. And we're done. Now you might imagine it takes quite a while to fill a 210 litre butt like that. But we've only had one moderate day of rain since I installed it and look, it's practically full already. Mind you, it is drawing water from quite a large roof area. So now I've got 200 free litres of water to water the things in the greenhouse and outside if I need to this summer. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. The weather forecast is for sunshine and showers all week and the garden's going to love that wet weather. Thanks for watching and join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.